So these things are burnt in a lot of a lot of these Jatco transmissions. Wow. These are F-U-K-T, so to speak. These are like welded together. Yeah, it's like one solid chunk. So when that happens, that, that clutch doesn't really release. This is a, <laughs> this thing's in pretty friggin' bad shape here. Hey everybody, today we have a Nissan Titan two-wheel drive. It's an RE5 R05A. And this might be something kind of interesting because it was built by one of my competitors and um, it was in and out of the car about four times so far, or so. It might be five. Um, let's take this apart and see what's inside and what's done to it, and um, maybe even more specifically, what isn't done. So as usual, we get out all the bolts that are the same size. Use the 14. A little trouble with this air gun because I turned the compressor off to film. We don't want it kicking on. So we have the usual stuff back here. Piece here. Parking stuff which kind of came apart on us. And a bearing and a bearing race. Two wheel drive output shaft. We have a speed sensor back there. Let's get that out now so we're not breaking it. As always, this little clip, that's what keeps this from pushing into the transmission case. Bell housing bolts. And this O-ring we're going to have to take off. Not a concern right now, but can't get this pump off with the O-ring on. Pretty nasty. Smells pretty nasty. You smell it? Ugh. Nothing's worse than that. Well, I'm sure there's stuff that's worse, but you know. Our speed sensor. And on these. Just an interesting note. A lot of times you have um, speed sensors and they twist the wires. And the reason for that is to um, eliminate electromagnetic interference. Kind of, they cancel each other out. Something you probably didn't need to know, but that's what I'm here for. Let's switch to uh, 
electric. So not all of these bolts have to come out. We've done other videos on this. And maybe I'll put up an overlay or something to show you what's what and which ones have to come out and which ones don't. Got to tap that plug a little bit. A valve body. Now we have to take this servo out, which sometimes could be a pain in the ass. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so a little servo for your band and a return spring. See if we could carefully put all this stuff up. There we go. So in here we have a one-way clutch. Turns that way, locks this way. And this is often a source of complaints here. This kind of all wipes out on here for lack of lube. And uh, when that's bad, you usually can't even get that apart. So what you end up doing is you got to get all new parts. The drum will be bad anyway, and the pump, you just, you'll never get it apart. So you just throw the whole thing in its entirety in the garbage. This band is leveled. Leveled. And um, it's kind of an anemic band, and this is to get your 4 5 shift. So I kind of recommend if you have a lot of power, you're not trying to make full throttle 4 5 shifts in these things. You know, if I build it, beef it up, it's better, but there's still, you know, that band is still going to be a weak link. There's not too much you could do about it. So the idea is you use fifth as an overdrive you don't try and do full throttle shifts with it so these are a little different some, than some of the other versions with the um, RE5 R05A versus an R01A that's found in passenger cars you're going to sometimes have steel planetaries instead of aluminum it's got some stronger stuff and we can see that this is black here so um, let's see they got burnt clutches now or one of the previous failures, one of the many previous failures. Okay, so we have a one-way clutch here, turns, locks. And let's see, we've got any extra clutches in here. When we do these, we get a lot.
don't know what kind of clutches these are, but it looks like some gypsy shit. And it's certainly the stock amount. You see how thick these steel plates are. Like if you were to measure this with a caliper, we have these made to a thinner dimension so that we can get more friction elements in there. But out of all the stuff I've ever taken apart, I don't see anybody else doing that kind of thing. Which that kind of thing is performance transmission 101. You get extra clutches and something that's gonna be better. Pretty much that simple. Those got pretty hot. Not too much left of these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We get about eight in these things when we do them. Maybe nine. See, there's a lot of room here on this piston where you can machine it down to get even more space in there for clutches. get to the pain in the ass part. Sometimes the pain in the ass. So this is going to fight me. Um, Sometimes it helps to sit them on something. There we go. See the snap ring expands out into here. So you got to kind of compress it, but it's kind of springing out the whole time. So. Something you got to mess with. Another steel planetary. This is our input clutches. And these things are burnt in a lot of a lot of these Jatco transmissions. Wow. These are F U K T, so to speak. These are like welded together. Yeah, it's like one solid chunk. So when that happens, that, that clutch doesn't really release. This is a, <laughs> this thing's in pretty friggin' bad shape here. I'm gonna take some of this stuff out of the back, but I'm not gonna do all of it at this point. I'm just doing a quick inspection. And obviously we're gonna have to get deep into this thing. Let's see what happens. We might make some more videos on it. I don't know. Um, you know, I've dealt with stuff from this place before. And, uh, you know, there was mistakes in the valve body and things like that. Like that. Uh, the Transgo kit. What's it? A RE5. HD2 or whatever it is. I've seen that in uh, this place's transmissions. And you know, it was misinstalled. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble here. I'll blame the last guy. <laughs> And these clutches are probably going to be all right. Yeah, these are usually in good shape. These are your low reverse. I'm leaving the rest of the stuff in there for now. It's going to check that we're not ring grooved out. So, 
These are essentially your three clutch packs that are involved in making upshifts in this, this unit. All right, so when you increase power, there's way more load on these. And there's nothing done to this to make it any better. We don't have a single extra friction plate in this. And as you see, they're all cooked. Having extra friction plates, would it keep it from getting cooked? I don't know, but it sure as hell doesn't hurt. You know, you're doing a performance transmission. That means you're changing stuff. There's nothing performance about this that I've seen so far. Sure as hell is an extra clutches, which is one of the main focuses when you're doing a performance unit. So it's going to be interesting to see what's done in the valve body. And uh, maybe we'll put this back together and I'll show you some of the machining and the parts we have to get the extra clutches in. Stay tuned. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.